Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are doing a showcase of a 100% Rainbow Star STR Goku Black who, as you saw from the title, I think is probably the best TUR in the game. Uh, you probably have an idea of what he does so we're not going to break this down in the same level as detail that we normally do on showcases for other units but I just wanted to go over it very quickly just to cover the points of why I think he is the best. So, as you probably know, he is the extreme type leader, 120% free key. You need all five colours of units on the team, otherwise the leader skill doesn't work. You'd be surprised the number of questions we still get in the help form that I'm a part of asking why his leader skill isn't working when people haven't brought a unit of all types. But the showcase is about him. I'm very excited to use him on the Awakened Ultra Instinct Goku team because he's going to have a 150% buff but you'll see from this showcase that even at 120% he is ridiculously good. So the first reason is he does immense damage with his super attack. He then also buffs his extreme allies attack by 30% for that turn so if he's going first everybody else is going to hit harder. His passive is he gives himself a 120% attack boost so on top of the immense damage he is a very hard hitter. Uh, he gives extreme class allies key plus three like the old AGL Rosé but he also gives them defense plus 50% which is a pretty significant like even for a support unit that's a very significant number and then he debuffs super class enemies attack and defense by 20% so he combines the features of multiple other units he debuffs the enemy he buffs his allies attack and defense and gives them free key and hits incredibly hard so you can kind of see why, with all those things put together, he definitely is in contention for the best TUR. So we're just going to show off what he can do in a mission, taking on Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as that is one of the harder events that is actually available today. Plus with the awakening for the uh, AGL GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku coming out some point in the future when they finally decide to release Bardock. Uh, gonna need more Super Saiyan 4 Goku medals, so might as well kill two birds with one stone. Plus, you know, it's Goku Black, so it makes sense to take on Goku. So, if we have the rainbow one on the first rotation, this is probably the best rotation for him. There it is! So, we are gonna link him up with Mojisamasu, because they share basically all of their links except for Super Saiyan, which no one else on this team is going to have actually so I didn't want to bring anyone particularly overpowered uh, I tried to bring as many Zamasu related units as possible since they share links with him uh, Terles obviously has to be uh, there for the in unit slot plus he at least gives an attack boost with his passive and then same with the King Piccolo he's just there to fill a final slot I would normally bring the LR Black and Zamasu uh, and LR Margin Vegeta, but like I say, we uh, just want to showcase the Rose, so I didn't want to bring units that were too powerful. So, <laughs> wiping out the Goku straight away. Didn't get a crit with the Rose, but still hit pretty hard considering he had a type disadvantage. So, let's see. He's got the most defense to turn. Let's, let's do this. Try and grab as many type orbs as we can so we can push that Dokkan bar up. Good old AGL SR Zamasu at Super Attack 1. He's just there to fill the AGL slot and uh, he shares many links with the Rose, so he is a good free to play linking partner. I mean, I say free to play, he's an SR that was from the Rose banner, but if he did any multi summons on that banner, you probably picked up at least one copy of him, so. Okay, so. Now we get to see what he can do without the type disadvantage, so. And with double Rose's debuffing, so he takes double digits from the attack. And then let's see what he can do. I'm pretty sure this one has 20 crit, so didn't manage to get one though, but still hit for a million with no crit. 
<clears throat> I mean, hard, units that you want on your team that you would consider your hard hitters, having them hit for a million with no crit is good anyway. And then you consider all the other things that he does as well. So, and then of course Merge some Hasu gets a crit and uh, shows them up. <laughs> Come on, Rose. We need to see. We need to see that level 20 crit coming into play. Um, let's do this. He can't be stunned, but. Unfortunately, the event is probably not long enough for us to actually get um, his Dokon mode off. So, I would have quite liked to see just how much damage he could do with a Dokon attack. So, of course, Goku Black's going to take the super attack. Let's see, 144,000. <laughs> or at least. Uh, We'll get a tiny bit of health back from him, and then he's only taking 10k, so that's not too bad. So, grab a quick heal. And then, let's see. Come on, let's get that crit. Obviously, the fact that the Merge the Master has been attacking after the Rosé means he's been getting that 30% attack buff as well. So that obviously helps him deal more damage. But, so even against the Super Saiyan 4 form final stage with his extra defense, he's still hit for almost a million with no crit. And that's all of his links apart from Super Saiyan active, which would be an extra 10% damage. So... Pretty much going to take him out this turn, no issue. So yeah, my Rosé has one dupe and is super attack 10 and uh, still hitting for over three quarters of a million. So as you can see, the Rosé is a ridiculously powerful unit, buffs everybody else, debuffs the enemy. Uh, like I say, I, he's probably in contention for the best TUR in the game, so let me know what you think. Uh, just as a bit of a bonus, I didn't do the Super Vegio, uh, sorry, Vegio Blue event, because obviously the Rosé gets bonus damage in. But I'm just going to paste a clip in now, so you can see the ridiculous damage that he does to the Tech Vegio Blue. Just because uh, it's pretty crazy to see those kind of numbers, so uh, I'll paste that in now. So here we go, this is a Rainbow Star Rosé, 20 crit against Vegito Blue on the final stage. See just how much he hits for. <laughs> and there you go, <laughs> he just one shots him for 3.7 million damage. So yeah, I thought that would be uh, fun to show and that's why we didn't showcase him on this stage. So yeah. But anyway, that has been the showcase for the 100% STR Rosé. Uh, let me know in the comments if you pulled Rosé or Vegito Blue on which team you like to use the most. Uh, if you don't think Rosé is the best, although I think it's hard to argue he's one of the best, but let me know who you think the best TUR in the game is. I know the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is pretty high on that list as well, as he is a crazy hard hitter. So uh, He's not very good defensively though, which is why I think Rosé kind of takes that top spot, because he's just basically good at everything. So let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter at the Ningen. You can let me know there as well or in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.